Hello. You know what I really like about XDuo is their possibility to improve their existing products, conquering the new market niches. For example, they have really good uh, headphone amplifier uh, TA20. They added the digital tonal converter and they created really great combo TA30 digital tonal converter with tube amplifier and a pretty unique product. I recently reviewed it and I still enjoy it. Another example, their bestseller uh, XD05, portable digital tonal converter for those who need lots of driving power. And uh, they added Bluetooth here and in the near future, if I understood their announcement right, uh, they will release the same device with Bluetooth support and that's great. And their uh, USB-C digital tonal converter link, uh, they, you know, if a uh, regular link was just uh, like uh, adapter-like or dongle-like, link 2 is close to, um, uh, to the device that can be called probably a digital tonal converter. Because here used uh, ES 9018 as digital tonal converter chip, uh, but actually they bypass its built-in uh, amplification and implement their own. If and once again, if I understood right, uh, they added uh, DSD 256 support. They did a lot of improvements in usability and added a few nice features. Price is higher too. It's uh, $100 now. But uh, it's uh, definitely a step forward with uh, comparing with regular link. So let's have a closer look. Package is nice. So XDuo have some good uh, polygraphy designer. And I have a black version. It, it's available in few colored versions. So you can get uh, the one that you like more. Inside of that outer wrap there is internal box. Uh, and here is the device itself. Actually, as you can see, it's not black, it's more gray, but still it's the blackest version of 3.1. So, as you can see, it has 150 milliwatts for 32 ohms load. It's higher, much higher power comparing with regular link. Uh, Low levels of harmonic distortions and signal noise, good cross talk, DSD up to 120, 50, 256, so all that features are present. And you will also get two cables, so you will have lightning, hooray for, the, for Apple users, and you will have the USB-C to USB-C for modern users. Also. USB-A adapter for Mac or PC or some desktop usage and a short strip of silicone so it's a sticky silicone X-Duo's creation so you can use it to stick this adapter to some smartphone or some other source. In terms of design, it's still small, but you can see they work, worked with shape, so it has its unique style, a bit uneven, but, uh, uh, but really sleek looking. It has own play pause buttons and volume buttons, really good, nice and clicky, I really like it. And uh, blind controls, so you can use it without pulling your smartphone and unlocking it. And basically it's uh, really simple and straightforward. You attach the cable from one side, you connect it to your source and here you plug your headphones. It's really simple. And there are two switches. So bass boost, it's a hardware bass boost, not some software equalizer and kind of uh, cross-feed implementation that uh, changes the stage a little bit. We'll elaborate on this uh, bit uh, more later. Of course, it doesn't have its own battery and it's pretty powerful device, so it will consume your device battery, it will consume your smartphone or player or what you will use as a source for it. But that's the price you'll have to pay for improve, improved sound quality. Besides that, in terms of uh, design, in terms of uh, build quality, in terms of package and accessory set, you can see that XDuo did their best to give you the maximum 
of possible for such a device. And of course about the sound I built kind of small setup, so Fios M15 as a transport. I'm using player because I don't have another smartphone, so I'm uh, filming this video using my iPhone. But actually all transports are almost equal, If of course if, if it uh, doesn't uh, do something with digital signal. So basically you will have the same result using for example player or using some normal smartphone. I connected uh, XDO Link 2. I use USB Audio Player Pro as a player because I prefer it when it comes to the external digital tonal converters and Andromeda 2020 as a earphones just for demonstration purpose. I will uh, mention them a bit later. And in terms of sound, actually you know it's a typical X-Duo sound in small package. Powerful, pretty authoritative, uh, well defined, uh, not uh, too sharp and uh, well balanced, uh, good uh, all rounder sound. So low frequencies are well controlled, uh, really punchy, impactful, goes deep, uh, neutral and uh, there is not much sense in saying that they are not highlighted, not accented, not forward. It's really a neutral device, but at the same time it's not trying to be monitoring or too dry or too clinical. So good, well controlled, technical low frequencies, uh, it's what uh, XDO Link can deliver and the rest is a matter of your uh, headphones. As an example, I selected basically classical track almost pure classics of electronic music, Daft Punk, Lose Yourself to Dance, good impactful bass line and actually it's uh, pretty punchy and this uh, tiny digital tonal converter managed to deliver it. Not of course only with Andromedas but with uh, many full-size headphones too. Mids are fairly well balanced between uh, resol resolution and weight, between the micro, uh, micro contrast and macro dynamics, not too clinical, not too analytical, not too weighty, neutral, natural, well controlled, with a nice imaginary stage, maybe not uh, something stellar like uh, expensive dubs, but for the $100 device it's uh, just uh, really good. So. <clears throat> I'm, you know, I'm describing sound briefly because it's just natural and it sounds like like your headphones sounding. And Haken Vector, really good uh, progressive metal band. I really like their approach. I really like their uh, mix of uh, synth wave. I really like uh, how much. Uh, retro style they adding to their music and they are really masters of catchy tunes, masters of good guitar riffs and of course uh, it requires good resolution and good control and that uh, device will give it too. And treble, treble is also pretty natural, it's a tiny bit simplified comparing with mids and bass but still good, really good extension not uh, uh, not sharp, not piercing, not highlighted, really well balanced, so no problems with treble here. It could be a bit richer in terms of layering, but actually it's just I'm nitpicking here. And treble example here is Rush YYZ. You understand why I selected this track, because it's all about the percussions, especially at the beginning, and this x link delivers it too. So sound description part uh, today was short, because I wanted uh, to spend a bit more time discussing few additional things. So to summarize, natural uh, device with a pretty good driving power. Uh, that power of course comes for a price because it consumes the uh, battery, but actually consum cons uh, battery consumption isn't that big. I tried it with uh, some uh, Xiaomi, Xiaomi smartphones that I have 
in, at the office we use it as a test device our android developers use it and uh, actually regular music listening uh, took about seven uh, percent of battery per hour and with this uh, device i've I, it took 13 percent per hour so for me it's pretty okay option and uh, in terms of pairing, it's pretty universal. It could drive the uh, vast majority of full-size headphones. Of course, not uh, power-hungry planars or something like that. But what surprised me more, actually, is that it's uh, pretty silent with Andromedas. There is a slight, slight background noise present, really uh, quiet. It's uh, present when you listen for some uh, quiet pieces in music, but besides that, uh, it's almost uh, good black background, and uh, that's what I like. Also, it's uh, pretty good uh, shielded. Uh, it's shielded really well from electromagnetic interference, so it's. Uh, good for the device to use with the smartphone but of course it's when you using 4g or 3g with old 2g network there could be some shattering noise but i think it's depend on smartphone so i just sharing my experience and uh, speaking about the comparisons it's uh, probably the most interesting part because you know in this price range there are few devices that i could mention all with their pluses and minuses and it's just a matter of uh, balance the most obvious is e1da e1da 9038 uh, has uh, third revision is more technical more focused on the micro contrast uh, more powerful but at the same time it has uh, more background noise especially with sensitive models and uh, sometimes it's uh, too neat picking and too monitoring for me. It's great if you like uh, smallest, tiniest details, but actually I prefer X-Duo's Link a bit more, despite a bit less focus on the micro contrast, because uh, I like uh, uh, not super focused on the micro detailization devices. And a huge plus of this uh, tiny thing is that it works with iPhones without adapters uh, for me it's a pretty big plus and forgot to mention base boost it's actually boosting lowest uh, la uh, base layers it's accurate but uh, audible and uh, this uh, switch actually it's less noticeable so it's barely audible for me it's just shrinking stage a little bit but making it a bit deeper but uh, this effect to my ears is small but staging is subjective so for you it could be just another result uh, shanling up 4 connected in the wired mode it's more weighty more bassy and uh, darker sounding device so it for those who like warmer sound signature and uh, fios btr5 uh, pretty close in terms of uh, representation to this tiny thing but uh, BTR5 is a bit more detailed and more focused on the resolution. And uh, from one hand, BTR5 has its own battery, so it's not consuming the device battery. And it also has uh, Bluetooth connections, but uh, from another hand, in the wired mode, it requires adapter to be used with iPhones, for example. So. I really like uh, this device, you know, it's not a uh, giant killer, but XDO, you know, XDO it's always an honest company, you're getting uh, as much as possible for the for the for this price, and they're not uh, pretending to be like, you know, some top of the line high-end company, but actually they have uh, high-end products like uh, TR TA30, it's just really, really great combo, I can highlight that once again. But this one is a really great option for those who need some wired digital tonal converter, if you need additional driving power, if you listen to DSD also it's a good option, and it's a, probably the best possible option for now with iPhones in this price range. Or at least the best I've heard, maybe there are some others. So it was XDO Link 2, thank you for listening, thank you for your attention and have a nice day.